This PetX Talk is brought to you by Pet World Media Group, your partner in all things pet media. Additional funding and considerations provided by Nature of Pets, Found Animals, and Dogwise Publishing. Are you ready to be empowered? Then join us for this PetX Talk. Hello, my name is Dr. Melinda Culver. I'm a veterinarian and a PhD specializing in companion pet and human nutrition at Abitech Corporation. At Abitech, I partner with our customers to enhance the nutritional potential of their existing or new products. Today I will be talking to you about coconut oil and MCT oil. You may have heard or read about the many benefits of coconut oil, that it helps with digestion, that it can ease pain, that it even helps reduce the risk of cancer. These are some bold statements resulting in a substantial amount of misinformation circulating on the internet regarding coconut oil and ultimately MCT oil. It will be my goal to clearly define what each product is, what it is not, and how they differ. Once we have a proper understanding, we can then examine the benefits. Before we can begin our comparison of MCT oil and coconut oil, the first thing we need to do is define an MCT. MCT stands for medium chain triglyceride. Triglycerides are made up of fatty acids. The medium in this term refers to the fatty acid chain length. Fatty acids can be short, medium, or long chains. However, these labels are based only on the chain length and do not reflect how the fatty acids are metabolized in our own pet's bodies. Medium chain fatty acids are between 6 and 12 carbon chains long, whereas long chain fatty acids are 14 carbons long or longer. The medium chain fatty acids are caproic acid, caprylic acid, capric acid, and lauric acid. Now the oils that many of us are familiar with, like olive oil and canola oil, are a mixture of different long chain fatty acids such as myristic, palmitic, stearic, oleic, or linoleic, which in comparison to oils such as coconut, palm kernel, and MCT oil, contain all long chain fatty acids. What is the content of an MCT oil? MCT oil is exclusively caprylic and capric acid. In contrast, the most predominant medium chain fatty acid found in coconut oil is lauric acid. Coconut oil contains anywhere from 45 to 60 percent lauric acid and is nature's richest source of this fatty acid. Medium chain fatty acids have well-known health benefits, but in reality, not all medium chain fatty acids are the same. Let me put it this way. The human, and even your pet's body, processes the different medium chain fatty acids in drastically different ways. As you recall, fatty acid nomenclature is associated with the lengths of the fatty acid and not on its metabolism. Although all medium chain fatty acids have some health benefits, there is a substantial amount of misinformation surrounding lauric acid, the most abundant medium chain fatty acid in coconut oil. Before we can start to examine the health benefits of the medium chain fatty acids, we need to understand how the body processes them. A body recognizes fatty acids as one of two types, a short medium chain or a long chain. Short medium chain fatty acids are rapidly digested, absorbed, and quickly moved into the bloodstream for processing by the liver. The results of this processing are ketone bodies, which are tiny balls of energy molecules that the body can use in countless ways. However, the only medium chain fatty acids processed in this way are caprylic and capric acid. In contrast, long chain fatty acids are slowly digested, packaged into fat globules that travel throughout the body in the lymph until they are ultimately dumped into the bloodstream near the heart. The last stop for nearly all of these fat globules is fat tissue for storage and possible future use. Think spare tire. So what does this mean for the benefits of coconut oil? Does it impart the same benefits of a medium chain fatty acid? To understand how the body's processing of lauric acid impacts its possible benefits, we need to discuss all the known benefits of medium chain fatty acids. If you recall, I mentioned that medium chain fatty acids form ketone bodies or tiny balls of energy. The benefits of medium chain fatty acids are related to these ketone bodies, which are the met metabolic byproduct. I also mentioned that caprylic and capric acid are the two medium chain fatty acids that will do this. One area in which ketone bodies have a positive impact is cognition. A normal, healthy brain uses glucose or sugar as a primary fuel source. Unfortunately, as the brain ages, there is a decrease in the brain's ability to effectively use glucose for energy. The good news is that the brain can use an alternate energy source, specifically ketone bodies. 
This is an adaptation which allows the brain to function in times when glucose is not readily available. This is fantastic. We can use this adaptation to the advantage of our pets by including a source of ketone bodies in the diets of our older and aging pets. Their brains are provided an alternate fuel source. In fact, one study has demonstrated that older dogs have improved cognitive scores when supplemented with foods containing medium chain fatty acids. A similar result was also seen in a study with humans given a medium chain fatty acid. A second area ketone bodies can benefit the body is weight wellness. It is widely known and accepted that a healthy weight contributes to longer lifespans and decreased obesity related diseases such as arthritis and diabetes. Nearly 66% of our pets are overweight or obese. We can and should be doing better as pet parents. Okay, so how do medium chain fatty acids help support a healthy weight? Well, remember I stated earlier that the body rapidly metabolizes medium chain fatty acids into ketone bodies. It is because of this, this rapid metabolism, that the fatty acids are not available to be stored in fat tissue like long chain fatty acids. Additionally, the medium chain fatty acid processing in the liver sends signals to the brain that energy, ketone bodies, are being produced and are ready for action. As a result, there's a decreased hunger signal. This translates into an increased feeling of fullness or satiety and a smaller meal consumed at the next meal. Studies in rats and in humans have demonstrated consuming medium chain fatty acids contributed to maintaining a healthy weight through fat loss, increased satiety, and decreased food consumption. A third way in which ketone bodies can benefit a pet is through energy. The ketone bodies are energy bundles that are available and primed for use all over the body. In addition to the brain, skeletal muscles are the largest users of ketone bodies and quickly gobble them up when needed. Like the brain, the muscles like to burn glucose for energy. However, they are also well adapted to use ketone bodies as energy. Now this is not a hyper or hopped up type of energy. This is energy that allows your pet to go on longer hikes or walks, or in the case of my cats, a few extra runs across my keyboard in an attempt to get my attention. This is also an ideal addition to a weight wellness program. Sounds pretty great, right? As pet parents, we want to ensure our pets have a long, happy, and healthy life. One way may be as simple as incorporating MCT oil into their diet. When it comes right down to it, it really is quite simple. For example, I include a splash of MCT oil into my cat's food bowls during mealtimes, and I'm already adding it to my own meals, so it's quite a simple step for me. Another way would be to choose products that contain MCT oil. Look at the ingredient list and select products that contain high caprylic and capric acid content and little to no lauric acid or coconut oil. Thank you for your time. I hope I have cleared up some of the confusion about MCT oils and coconut oils. I invite you to use MCT oils for your pets. We're here with Dr. Melinda Culver, who just gave us an impactful talk about MCT oils versus coconut oils. Dr. Culver, I want to follow up by asking you, where do MCT oils come from? MCT oils are actually made from the pieces of medium chain fatty acids found in coconut oil and palm kernel oil. Those are the only two sources of any appreciable amounts of medium chain fatty acids. Well, you bring that up and then I'm, I'm forced to ask you this question and that is, why is MCT oil better than coconut oil? Well, good thing you asked. MCT oil is actually concentrated medium chain fatty acids, whereas coconut oil is just all fat. So if, as a pet parent, I want to incorporate this into my pet's diet, what's the best way for me to do that? The best, easiest, and quickest way would be just to take medium chain triglyceride or MCT oil and put it to in your dog or cat's food. So you can pour it on kibble or you can mix it into wet food. Um, I would probably use a teaspoon and I would do it twice a day in your feedings. It has no taste and no odor, so the um, animal should, have, should uh, readily accept it. And how often can we use the oil? You can use it as often as you feed your pets. Once a day, twice a day, three times a day. Just mix it in. They should accept it very easily. Well, thank you so much. This is great information. We really appreciate everything you're doing in the pet world. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you for joining us for this PetX Talk. 
For more information on Dr. Melinda Culver, visit ethorn.com slash animal wellness. Funding for PetX Talks is provided by Pet World Media Group, your partner in all things pet media. Additional funding and considerations for PetX Talks is provided by Natura Pets. Natura Pets can help you optimize your pet's health with premium organic supplements from the Amazon and Andes Mountains. Visit naturapets.com. Dogwise Publishing, all things dog. For all of your expert dog book needs, visit dogwise.com. Bound Animals, working towards big ideas that advance the safety and happiness of animals in our homes, our shelters, and everywhere in between. Visit boundanimals.org. Special thanks to Pet World Insider, taking you inside the world of pets. Visit petworldinsider.com for more expert radio interviews, articles, and videos. This has been a Pet World Media Group production.